how to make the narcissist regret leaving you. The narcissist never really moves on. They go from one supply to the next supply, but they are always watching what you are doing. Always watching to see if you can rebuild your life after they have destroyed it or if you can put yourself in a better position. They always want to be with a person who is the most successful, the most physically attractive, the person who has the most power to direct people's behavior and the course of events. That is the kind of person that they want to be around. When the narcissist first met you, you might have had a lot of power. You might have had the ability to make things happen. You might have been very physically attractive. But as the narcissist began to drain you of your resources, that is when you began to lose your power. When they started abusing you, stressing you out, making you feel anxious or depressed. That is when you began to lose your looks. You might have gained weight or lost weight. You started feeling tired all the time, as though you don't feel like doing anything. At this point, you're no good for anyone, not just a narcissist. Although narcissists can never be satisfied. Once the narcissist has drained you of your energy and resources and beaten you down to the point where you don't look good anymore, now you are no good for anyone. And the narcissist wants to be around someone who everyone else desires, someone who everyone else wants. The narcissist used you up of everything that you had to offer and then left you to yourself because you were no longer of any use to them. If you want to make the narcissist regret losing you, you need to rebuild. Forget about the narcissist for now. Don't initiate any contact with them and don't respond to any Hoover attempts. Focus on rebuilding your life. Heal your childhood traumas. Improve your mental and emotional health. Exercise. Drink plenty of water. Improve your diet. Exfoliate your skin. Moisturize. Get your hair and nails done. Buy some new clothes. But when you are doing all of this, it has to be for yourself. Your focus needs to be on yourself rather than the narcissist. If you are doing all of this to impress them or to try to get them back, it is going to come off as though you're being desperate as though you're doing whatever you can to get them back. You need to be doing all of this for you because you value yourself, you love yourself, not because you care about what someone else thinks. When you really value yourself, it's natural for you to take care of your mental, emotional and physical health because you regard yourself as being something of importance, worth or usefulness. You recognize your own value and everything that you have to offer. So it's only natural that you are going to want to take care of this valuable body, mind and soul which you possess. Once you have rebuilt your life and you have upgraded your mental, emotional and physical health, 
You might be ready to start dating again. But now that you have rebuilt your life and upgraded yourself, you can't just go back to the narcissist. Even though the narcissist might want you back. You need to be with someone who is at your level. Someone who has also taken the time to upgrade themselves. You are worthy and deserving of being with someone who is better, greater than the narcissist. And if you have rebuilt your life and upgraded yourself, you are going to have no problem finding someone who is far better, far greater than the narcissist. Someone who you can then build with and enjoy a fun, exciting life with, without the narcissist. Narcissists are very superficial. They only care about things that exist or occur on the surface rather than anything of any real purpose or meaning. They act as though the world revolves around them, as though they are the most significant and important thing in the world. They trick you into seeing the world as being such a small place and as though there is no one else for you to find or no one else that would want you. There is nowhere else for you to go and nothing else for you to do. This is how they trick you into seeing the world. But now you need to start seeing the world with a mindset of abundance. As though there is plenty to go around. Because there is plenty to go around and you can have it all. You don't need the narcissist. You can find the peace, love and joy that you always wanted without the narcissist and without any of their efforts. Even if they have drained the life out of you and used up all of your resources. It all starts by working on your mental, emotional and physical health and then rebuilding your life without them. When the narcissist has to witness your improved health and how you have rebuilt your life, when they have to witness your happiness and how you have moved on with someone who is far better, far greater than they could ever be, that is when they begin to suffer. That is when they begin to realize that they had made a big mistake. That is when they begin to regret losing you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcissforevercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.